Welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. I am your host, Judo Sloth. Today we are talking about the Hog Riders at Town Hall 10. They are the best troop outright for Town Hall 10, and we're going to show you a few different attacks telling you exactly how to use them today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of my Clash of Clans attack strategy videos. All of these replays are from White Temple. If you are interested in joining White Temple or Elite Gaming, we are applying for CWL Season 5. Make sure to check out the Discord link down in the description of this video. This is most commonly at Town Hall 10, how you will set up the Hog Rider attack. And we named it here on the channel the hog wrecker strategy using that wall wrecker to push in as a kill squad with your heroes and take out a couple of key objectives so mainly what you're wanting to take from that are the enemy cc the enemy queen and if you can an inferno tower but honestly they're mainly single nowadays and it doesn't matter for the hog riders mainly what you're doing with that kill squad is actually creating a path for the hog riders narrowing that channel that they have to go down you can see bringing them in in one big group we still know exactly where they're going to go yes we bring a few surgical ones just to snipe off the odd defenses at the side but that means we know exactly where the hog riders will go we can then use the heal spells wisely on maximum amount of hog riders now at the end of the video the final two attacks will show you the versatility of the hog riders an attack at town hall 11 they still are very much used at town hall 11 but at town hall 10 they definitely are the best attack strategy you can use the final attack of the video will show you a falcon attack at town hall 10 as you know that's using the valkyries to press in but does show the versatility of the hogs just using them on the back end of that strategy to help out once we get to the final part of the raid here hog rider is going to help with cleanup the queen still has her ability that's an important thing that you will pick up from these raids try to protect your queen if you can get them hog riders in quick enough so that she doesn't go down because she will help with cleanup massively guys it will definitely help you out the last thing you want is a time fail remember just have them wizards as well as soon as the hog riders take out defenses in an area start bringing them cleanup troops in traps defenses they're all gone the wizards will have free reign so again we're using a very similar strategy here set the funnel for your kill squad coming in the wall wrecker is going to basically just press forward right towards the town hall so we don't have to worry about that but a couple of wizards are enough to snipe off these trash buildings so that then when we bring the king and queen in they will certainly go exactly where we want them behind that wall wrecker you can see queen does get diverted a little bit there that's the importance of getting them builders down buildings even you don't want to smash the builders they are going to help you upgrade your base. As these press forward, you can see them key objectives going down. The enemy CC, the enemy queen, a couple of bowlers help out. But more importantly, again, it's creating the path for your hog riders. As they come forward here, we're taking out a lot of defenses. The golem is still tanking. The wall wrecker can be used as a tank if you only want to take out a few defenses. If you want to press in that little bit further, as you can see, 40% we got from this base. You might want to take that golem golem and then again hog riders can come in in kind of a group but you do have to think of where they're going to path in this corner they would have got a little bit muddled wouldn't they they would have started splitting up a little bit going to the odd defenses that's why we just brought them extra couple in from the side to mean that they could merge together and use that heal spell wisely getting towards the back end of the base we still have another heal spell already have a pre-heal spell down on that spot where we had the wizard tower and potential for giant bombs then as the hog riders come out to the outside of the base you never know they can be giant bombs on the outside if they are trying to defend against witches obviously guys if you have a replay from this base prior to attacking it make sure you're watching it that is just the key basics make sure you're checking where them traps are as you can see so beastly we managed to swag a heal and a poison spell and honestly guys the hog riders i'm telling you now at town hall 10 they are the best troop right now they are the best strategy you 
using that wall wrecker to help out the hog wrecker attack strategy be sure to let me know down in the comments if you have used it let's show you one more town hall 10 attack before we move to that town hall 11 attack and then we'll show you the falcon at the end so again similar stuff using the golem here so we can suspect that he's going to come in and try and take out a lot of the base you've got to think the town hall at the edge of the base if you come in from the opposite side you're not going to utilize that wall wrecker very much it is going to smash through the initial wall then it's going to bust as soon as it hits the town hall but on the defenders part the heroes are in the middle of the base actually that's not always the best thing to do if you have them up by the town hall then it means that you can't take out the heroes from pressing in from the bottom however in this case and in a lot of cases you certainly can golems continue to do work now remember what we said on the channel in my previous hog wrecker attack strategy having a second golem inside that uh, wall wrecker is very beneficial official how to think about it i'll let the hog rider let you watch the hog riders at the end here but i'm not really commenting over it standard stuff in terms of the golem inside the, the wall wrecker as that wrecker presses forward you've got to think you have two types of troops you have the troops in the front that are tanking and then you have your heroes king uh, queen maybe some bowlers that are doing the the damage now once them tankage troops go then your troops that are doing the damage really start getting hit so when your wall wrecker busts that first golem is starting to go down your heavy damage troops are going to then be hit. Yes, you could reinforce it with some more heavy damage troops inside the wall wrecker, but actually popping out another tank troop helps to, again, tank for that kill squad coming through, and it can work really well. The, the wall wrecker tends to be further ahead than them troops. So the tank troop is in the front. It's gonna be the first one drawing the fire. Honestly, guys, try it. It really does work out well. As you can see, cleanup troops in straight away. They are helping. Good job we did have one hog rider split down the bottom there, but it really wouldn't have mattered if you do indeed get the attack correct you can save enough hog riders in order to help you clean up as well but make sure you are just bringing them clean up troops guys it's just good practice you want to get into that don't underestimate bases make sure you are planning things getting that attack solid let's show you the town hall 10 uh, 11 attack then so again town hall at the edge of the base that's to try and prevent you using the siege machine to get a lot of value and it, it is kind of that old meta anti-3. However, if you can press in from the other side, the wall wrecker will just keep on going. Remember, it goes to that town hall. So therefore, if you can get enough value at the top, it makes obvious sense to do that. So from a defense point of view, try and keep your heroes down next to that town hall. Anyways, for this attack, Killer comes in, pressing forward with that wall wrecker, and you can see straight away some of the main defenses here that are going to go down. The CC, the enemy queen, the eagle artillery, that is massive at Town Hall 11, guys. If that is smashing into your hog riders, it is going to be difficult, so that is a key one to get down as well. And then again, we have the golem popping out there with the bowlers. Just look, with that golem helping the wall wrecker, at how much damage we were able to take we've taken out the entire western side of the base this entire left channel the hog riders don't even have to go there they just have to swoop down the right hand side that means they will all be in one big group the heal spells will be right on top of them really doing maximum damage could have ideally brought in a couple of hog riders to take that out that's exactly what happens look your hog riders do kind of split up just a little bit but it doesn't matter we still have a huge group coming forward if you have a poison spell as well you can pop them on that skeleton from the skeleton traps but enough heal spells get the job done and again the hog riders were in early enough to help protect the rest of the heroes to help with the cleanup now that was a beautiful demonstration of using the golem to help the wall wrecker. The wall wrecker did get that nerf, remember, so you're not going to be able to tank as much for it. So try and protect it. It's key in order to press through the walls. And like I said, it helps you to get more out of the base. You've got to think, are you maximizing on hog riders and they have a key pivotal role or are you maximizing on the kill squad? And that's kind of what the falcon attack, which we're going to show you to wrap up this video, kind of does 
because you're using the Valkyries as the main bulk. So that has to be where most of your army is committed to. Then you just have the Hog Riders to help clean up around the edge. But it does help to show you the versatility of the Hog Riders. Make sure to smash that like button if you have enjoyed this. Any other tips for Hog Riders at Town Hall 10, leave them down in the comment section. And if you are reading that, make sure to like the ones that are good so that they get pushed to the top for more people to see. Now, I know this isn't a fully maxed upgraded base, but it kind of fit it did kind of fit within the theme of this video, so I wanted to show it to you. Queen Walk coming in from the top, couple of Hog Riders to help with the funnel on the right hand side, but then once you've created that, the Valkyries can kind of create the funnel themselves. Electro Dragon in the CC, I'm not a fan of it. Let me know what you think, but I don't think it's very good. It can sometimes trick people with that lightning spell after it's taken down and take out some troops, but other than that, it's really not too good, guys. Then this is where the Hog Riders are valuable the valkyries you can funnel them into the base but it is so difficult to predict their pathing so you can see they've kind of split off over to the right hand side of the base which i didn't expect from where he entered the base but then what you can do you can see they've fizzled out on this corner here the defenses are left standing so that's where the hog riders come in to clean up anywhere where the valkyries miss you can bring them hog riders in in order to just snipe off them defenses, just help them out a little bit. You don't want the Valkyries having, excuse me, Valkyries having to go over there in order to break through walls. Again, that's valuable time that they need to be, um, that you need to be trying to maximize. So you can see just them few hog riders were enough to do that alongside, again, we mention it over and over, guys, the clean up troops. A single wizard can help out massively. Taking out even that gold storage might take a couple of seconds, and that is valuable time, guys, that you do not want to be missing. So there you go, hog riders at Town Hall 10. They are the best troop. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, but that wraps it up for this video. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out.